<laughs> Isn't this archway with the round window just so adorable? Oh, I've always wanted a home <laughs> with a round window. It says there, former fire station. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard to imagine, really, isn't it, yeah, that yeah. this was once a fire station? You want it to be red, you know? <laughs> yeah, bright <laughs> red. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go and have a look? Just a bit. Oh. Ooh. I love these floorboards. <laughs> So, like, New England nautical in here, isn't it? I wasn't expecting that. But I think we are next to running water, so that seems to tie in quite nicely. And it's lovely to have a, a square hole. It's really generous, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to feel so sharp. There's a lot of sharp, clean lines. The architect in there is feeling quite happy. So if it wasn't what we were expecting, what would you imagine a home converted from a really old fire station would look like. You know, I'm picturing a pole at some point in this building. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think there's going to be a fireman's pole. Oh, sliding door. Wow. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's so light and bright. I love the, the difference in levels. We've come down and we're underneath something and then through there it's going double height. I mean, we barely noticed that we're in the kitchen. It's sort of like a stealth kitchen. This part here just sort of sinking into the wall and that part disappearing under the stairs. It's very clever. Mm, this is lovely, isn't it? I was kind of hoping it would be like this, I must admit. I was hoping from the outside that it was just going to increasingly get more dramatic as we went through it. I love the round light in front of the round window. Just perfect way to respond to that. The arch is so impressive from here, though, isn't it? With that exposed brick, it really is just giving you a sort of throwback to what the building would have been like at one point. The view through this arch window, it's so beautiful, isn't it? That lovely stone wall and then the river just bubbling by. It's really, really special. Oh, the favourite spot. I kind of feel like you would want to spend all your time up here. It's like a little hidey hole, isn't it? Like, even if somebody rang the doorbell, you could kind of pretend not to be in. <laughs> it's just interesting trying to work out what was or was not here before. Certainly, I find it interesting that we're up in this higher area and are getting this lovely relationship with these windows, which may not have been like that. So you're actually getting a view that wouldn't have existed before. That's a really nice move. Oh, a bath in the bedroom. How luxurious. Well, the bath is kind of peeking out from behind that wall, isn't it? I feel like this solves the bath and the bed dilemma as well. I know a lot of people have strong feelings about that. But <laughs> technically, that is in this ensuite, I think. So it makes it OK. <laughs> she feels like the bath has kind of snuck out. Yeah, yeah, it's like half and half out. <laughs> I really love the layout of this room, the way that the bed is located, actually facing a wall, but with a window either side. So you've got that kind of privacy that the wall gives you, but also views in two directions. Shall we have a wee look and see what's uh, behind the wall? Oh, it's a nice, generous space. It is, yeah. And just having that partition just breaks it all up and it's just, it just feels very airy in here, doesn't it? Airy is the word. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's the issue of the kind of moisture in the air and other things in the air not being contained. <laughs> what other things are? <laughs> <laughs> but finally, spatially, I think it's lovely because yeah. it doesn't feel enclosed. And I think there is something really nice about that they've done this. I like that it's a little bit more open plan. It feels quite luxurious, a bit more boutique hotel. I think this building, even from the outside, presented itself as a bit of a conundrum couldn't quite figure out what was going on and even from the inside fire station mission couldn't quite get it but what I can attest to is now it is without question a beautiful home